This is my video from last year at Wookiees in the Woods. Uh, part of a compilation video of the whole trip, so pretty long, 40 minutes long. Uh, someone at Wookiees in the Woods watched it, which is great. I, I don't really believe anyone should watch my videos because they're all pretty shitty, but that was nice of them to do. Um, 1,800 views on a 40 minute long video is really insane. Um, well, I was uh, on Instagram and I I found um, this video had been reposted. I thought it was just a normal golf video. A lot of European Instagram accounts, you know, uh, steal YouTube videos and put them on their channels. Um, on Instagram, and it had been reviewed. This clip here, the, the sound off clip, been viewed uh, 1,500 times roughly. Um, so just about as many times as on my channel had it been viewed on Instagram. So, um, well, I, I should back up a little bit while this plays. So back in the day, you know, the heyday of when I was really active in photography, I would um, I would issue between five or fifteen uh, DHM uh, DMCA um, um, uh, takedown uh, requests per week to various companies, and and all it is is it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a USA federal law that that allows copyright holders to protect their their copyright materials um, in the digital era. So if someone um, uh, takes your, your your the text that you've written, the photo you've taken, the video you've created, um, it doesn't cover ideas or inventions, but it covers uh, creations or, or works. Um, <clears throat> so when someone takes that, it allows you uh, as a copyright holder. Uh, to to um, either receive attribution for it, uh, to collect money for it, uh, or to simply request it be taken down and removed. Um, Instagram provides a, a a page on this, so you can uh, choose that you're the you found content that violates your copyright, and then you can um, link to it on Instagram, and then provide a link to your copyright work, and then basically you're signing an affidavit saying that um, you know you you are the copyright holder. You're not. You're not full of shit. This is a real thing. Um, I use this quite a bit, actually. A lot of my photos end up on Instagram at some point. In fact, if you look at my photo uh, on on Flickr, I add I add a, a watermark to all of them. Not that this photo is great. This photo is a picture of beer. It's beer that you can get on a shelf. It's not that fancy or special. Um, but people use my photos all the time. I can't really explain why. I don't think I'm a good photographer. I I truly believe that. I I, I love photography. Uh, I love taking good photos, but you know, uh, 4.2 million views on my Flickr photos um, since 07. Um, Five million total views. It, it's it means a lot to me um, that people at least offer credit, uh, and this didn't offer any credit. It was just my video. They they uh, altered it by cro editing it. They um, um, copied it by downloading it and then reposted it to another service that I didn't get permission to. And there is something called Creative Commons, which I participate in some of my photos. In Creative Commons, how this, how this works, uh, Creative Commons is a way to, um, to put a license on your, on your copyright material. Um, and you can give it certain, certain uh, things. So you can say that, um, let's see if we can get the licenses here. I want to show you guys what this is. Um, you can basically give permission for people to um, share it. Um, for to 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 remix it or or, or modify it, um, or you can have you know no no license at all. So can they adapt it? Yes or no? Can they use it for commercial use? Yes or no? And then you, you embed that into the the file, and then people know that hey they can they can utilize this, and it's great. It's a great program. Um, a lot of my photos were were Creative Commons, and I changed them to all rights reserved about three or four years ago. So, <clears throat> uh, the sound off video was taken, um, and I was going to put an Instagram uh, uh, DMCA request, but I decided to email Wookiees in the Woods and ask them to uh, take it down, because uh, D DMCA hits for most services, let's use YouTube example as an example, uh, it will affect your account standing if someone um, puts a copyright uh, mark on your, strike on your account, and it, it will... You know, cause uh, you know you to be blocked in certain countries for you to not receive revenue for your videos. So, uh, I, I recently started taking these more seriously when I submit them, and I generally reach out to the content um, thieves before um, 
before I do one of these because it, it just strikes against their account. Um, so I got uh, I got a reply back from uh, well I'll, 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 I'm I'm pretty transparent so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the whole message here my emails here for you guys that want to steal it. Um, <clears throat> so I, anyway, I told them it's a it's a video off YouTube. You didn't ask permission. You didn't link to the original. Can you just take it down? Uh, I don't want to file a complaint. I assume nothing else of mine was copied anywhere else. And because the internet is just a cesspool for thiev thievery this year, as I asked, um, I made a point to say, you know, media posted to the internet isn't free for anyone to steal. Just be respectful. Even if my, my content is shit or not professional quality, you still ask permission. And whoever runs the account said, uh, don't come back. Uh, and I, so I said, I'm really surprised by your response. Uh, you know, please check out DMCA and understand how it works. Uh, cause it's not good form to copy people's work. And, uh, they responded with, um, well, surprise, <laughs> have a nice day. Uh, and, and, and in reference to the sticker bit, I'll pull up, um, this email, my address was in there, so I don't want to have that included. Um, so basically what happened was I had bought a shirt, um, and I, I, didn't get a sticker in the pack, so I emailed the guy and he mailed me one out. And I, I, I think I even offered on Vortex to, to pay for shipping, and that didn't happen. So, so that's it. So um, I guess I'm not going to Wookiees in the Woods anymore. So no more videos like this. I'll still definitely do um, Tail of the Dragon on my own, you know, on my bike, in my car. Um, I bought, I paid for you know, Wookiees in the Woods 2016, then I paid again in 2017. Um, so I registered both years, whatever that cost per year. Um, I didn't go to 2017, so I, I guess I was more of a profit for them in 2017, because I didn't get to go because of work. Um, I'm a little bummed, but, you know, uh, Tale of the Dragon is an open, is an open highway, and uh, I can still join. Uh, it was a really nice, fun time. I just don't want people copying my stuff. You know, if someone took this photo of beer that I took yesterday and used it for, on a for-profit page to sell beer, <laughs> I'm gonna ask they remove it. Or maybe license it. I've never gotten money for my work, but maybe they can license it. But, you know, when you take something and you use it to sell stuff uh, on your Instagram page, which, you know, you sell tickets once a year for an event, uh, it's just not, if they had asked me, I would have said yes. So, that's that. Um, thanks for watching. I'm I'm I, I'm not gonna apologize. I feel bad, but I'm not gonna apologize. I didn't I didn't you know do anything nasty. I just said take it down. So anyway, I I I don't know. It's frustrating, but as usual, thanks for watching. I'll keep making golf R videos and um, not stealing people's work that they they worked for. Have a nice day.